Hey everybody, so this week's theme in Kali self-defense classes is I, I think I actually made it a little bit different. I'm going to do a comparison video between two martial arts. We're going to do Pekit Tercia Kali disarms and Feng Wei Do disarms. So single stick. So what, what's a disarm? So a disarm is when I remove a weapon from their hand. But the thing is, the most important thing is when you see things in movies, it's not really real because if I just hit the stick and I re remove it, they're not uh, maimed or hurt in any way, so it's never really ever going to work. So the thing with the disarm, you got to remember, is I hit your body, I injured you somehow, I hit your hand to open your hand up a little bit, make it a little bit weaker, I hit your head to make you lean back, and then I do a disarm. And at the same time, if I go for a disarm and I miss it, it's not a big deal, but as long as I follow it up with a strike, that's what matters. So it was a saying that I remember was the most important thing is actually disarming somebody instead of disarming somebody. Okay. So we're going to do uh, six, seven, eight, uh, Pekit Tercia disarms and we're going to do seven Feng Wei Do disarms. We'll talk about them a little bit and see how they differ from each other. In Pekit Tercia Kali, it's uh, a Leo Gahi family system. So it's pure Pekit Tercia. It's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the Feng Wei system is more on the Inasano family side, a little bit of Arnest in there, but it's mostly Dan and Asanto material. So you'll see some similarities because Dan and Asanto did study with Tuhong Li Ogahi. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the comparison video. Thank you very much. So first thing we're gonna do is look at the Piki Tertia Kali disarms up from angle one and angle two. So she's just gonna hold her stick up for demonstration purposes. When our sticks clash, it makes an X. So if you watched my video last week on the, the Kali sectoring, same thing with the stick. You can see it pretty clearly. There's a few major sectors where your hands can go, and you know, we'll talk about some reasons why. So the first one we're going to cover is uh, seven off of angle one. Okay. So the first one is that hit. Remember, I talked about not being don't hit naked. So I just can't do this and expect it to work because she's just going to move away. So when I'm doing this. I'm hitting, I'm blocking the hand, I'm hitting your head, I'm hitting your hand, and that's gonna make her loosen up. So I come around, I grab the thumb pad. Most of these disarms is gonna be me grabbing the thumb pad over and over and over again. Okay, so one more time. So I got her in the head, and I, I clash the stick, or I even double bones, I hit her hand, and I hit her head at the same time. I grab it, now my stick goes into my armpit, I bring her puño, which means the bottom of the stick, up to the roof, I'm really pushing that thumb pad, I'm going to hit her across the, 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 the body and now her arm gets a disarm. Here, I pull it and get the disarm. So one again. Here, grab into my armpit, pull it across. I'm hitting and disarming at the same time. So that's number one. So number two is this sector here. The way we did tag number two is that if I hit, and my stick bounces off, okay? So I'm here, which is me hitting the hand and bouncing off, and I grab thumb pad again. I bring it all the way up. So now I have a, the line here. I'm gonna walk forward and bring my queen into her nose. And that causes the disarm and my strike to the face. And that's number two, one more time. Number three, this sector. So now I'm gonna go around it, grab her thumb pad, put it in her stick in my armpit, I'm gonna hit her across the head as I pull it up. Right there. There we go. Grab, hit, pull up. Number three. Number four, this sector underneath here. So usually that happens is uh, if they kind of just see the stick a little bit longer, so I can get underneath like this. I'm gonna give her a wrist lock. I'm gonna fold her pinky finger on the far side of her elbow. At the same time, I punch this forward, I'm here in the head, and get to this arm, it's gonna go over her shoulder. And that would be the face, okay? So you get a take down right here. So she, she can't leave with her hand, she has to leave with the stick. Here, here pop it out, and shoot.
Number five, underneath the puno on this line here. And you get it like that. This one, there's a bunch of variations of this one. So I sit, just get her head. Now she may be leading a little bit more like this with this point bottom. So I grab it, I'm gonna brace it off my body. At the same time, I'm gonna hit her. I'll do a couple different variations. Off my thigh, off my bottom, off my foot. It's just she's stepping forward with her right leg a little bit more. Her right leg. Inside her leg like that. And then the last one. For this bit, I get it. And I get this one. Number six is I grab the puño. Right here, I grab it, I take my puño, I go over top of hers. I'm going to pull her head out, and I'm going to clear it back into her face. Okay, a little bonus one, seven, it comes across. So now I'm, she's pushing into me, I'm going with the energy, I'm switching my arms. I get the lock here. But for the disarm, it was where I like doing it. It wasn't taught to me, it was just something that I like doing. One, I like bringing her hand down first, getting the disarm, and getting it like that. So again, here, pushing, and getting the disarm. So that's sector one. So we'll do a three or four off sector two, which is a back hand. Okay? We'll go this way. So now she has a back hand, we have the same thing. We have quadrants or sectors here, so we're gonna do I'll just do them. So again, she hits. I'm gonna grab in this sector and I'm gonna hit her in the face. That's number one. Okay. Sector two. So now instead of here, I go inside. So I have the thumb pad, I rip it out, I get the wrist lock to come along. So I scoop it. So it's needing a snake. I go through here, I grab it, pop. And I have the pillow. So I'm pushing her wrist into her elbow and getting up off her heels. They're all very similar after a while. So now we'll go with sector three, this sector. So I go through and I get to this time. Very similar to the one we did earlier. Again. And number four, underneath, I bring it up, pop it into her face. Pop it into her face. So those there give you a lot of ideas of what this arm is all about. And it's a key Tercia Kali system. So the next we'll do is the Fong Wei Do uh, single stick disarms. Thank you. Okay, next up, Fong Wei Do disarms. So this is from Green Belt, okay? So we have seven. So the first, first three are back ends. So that's where it's a little bit different already. The first few in uh, Kali are all at angle one, and these ones are from a different, a bunch of different feeds, okay? So first one, I hit. Again, I can hit her in the face, I can hit her in the hand. I come around and I circle under. We snake it, okay? And I like always feeling it back right away. So I go here, I hit something, I scoop. And there's a couple different variations. You can take it or you can just whip it. I'll do the whip version. So one more time for number one. Hitting, grab, strike, strike, strike. So remember, striking is the most important part. Number two. Back end. Boom. And then what happens with number two is a different energy. So she's hitting me and it's staying kind of put. So I reach it and I'm pulling it over the stick like a vine. Okay? So I'm jabbing her, pulling it off, and now I go into two stick attack. Back end. Hitting the hand. See that? I grab, push, gets its face. It's in Wally, seven, six, upper eight, whatever you want to call it. Okay, next one is chicken wing. 
So I count number one, so now I go deeper into her elbow, and I go around her head. I get a nice knee, and I pull this on top. I'm gonna go puno to puno, I rip it out, hit the head. Number four. Number four is from a forehand now. And it, she's kind of leading with the stick like that. She's keeping her elbow tight, so I have to go over the stick, over sector one. Like that. I'm going to fire over. And as I, I'm going to get tight and tight, I get a headbutt. I'm going to pull this across, feed her into that puno, so she has to block. She's just angle. Now, the, her puno is cupping my shoulder, so I step back my left leg, rip it out, and I continue straight from the and getting over top, nice headbutt, pull out. She takes that step. I do this to bring her hand up. I step back by the left, I rip it out, and I swing. Now, next one's low back in. So that happens, but she still tries to do this. I'm going here, I grab, and I pull it to her head, back hand. One, two, three, two, three. So I block. As I block, she's still, maybe she's walking closer. I get tight, I hit the hand, and I hit the hand. Sometimes you can just scrape your fingers, and that's good enough. Yep, last time. Next one, forehand, low forehand. Don't do this one with Scoop. Back, back. So I grab, so I stop the here, my hand's already over. I grab the stick, I go over her elbow, and I flip. I use the back end, hit and drive, hit, hit. Last time. And our last one is like number one, but just from a, a forehand. I go inside, I wrap it, I snake it, I hit, I hit, and I kick it out. Hit it like that, or hit it like that. We'll do all sevens in this side. I'll do twins. Four. See how I put on my shoulder, I step back, pick it up. Headbutt. Here, four. Last one, reverse sweep, inside, get up. I'll do that one again. Get up like that, or I come across, hit, and disarm it on the way down. And those are the phone way go disarms from Green Belt. Okay, next part is training drills and methods. So knowing a disarm, just like naked, like uh, let's go. This one, for example, it's not good enough. You, you, you can train that. I want you to train it about 500,000 times, whatever you can. 
but just knowing it is not good enough. You need training drills to implement your techniques. Okay, so the first one we're gonna cover is just a one, two, nice and slow. One, two. So you need training drills like this off of motion to find your technique, okay? So we'll go slow and I'll just find a couple techniques off forehand and backhand. So that gives you your timing and a more realistic movement, okay? Because no one's just gonna hold the stick up for you any day of the week. So you, you gotta do things off motion first. So again, and boom, hit, this arm, open there. So one, two, one, two, I go hit, I go up, stop, this arm. One, two, one, two, this arm. So let's say you got a practice, we're gonna show you a few, but you just gotta find one, drill it nice and slow like this, just like one. And two. You gotta think, okay, I'm gonna do technique number one. You gotta go super slow first. You gotta find it out of your motion. Then number two. Then I'm gonna do a snake. Train, treat each technique like that. So train number one off of that drill, number two, number three. Okay, next drill. High, low, high. So, and you can then come up with any combination you want. Okay, come closer. It's just you've got to find anything you like that you use in sparring and find it off. So now we'll break in, break out position. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now we have a low line in there. So that's perfect for our technique like that. Or our technique like that. So now we'll do, uh, we'll go into a close range drill. From break in, break out, we'll go to uh, Sagong Lavo or Hubud. So we'll go like this, and two, three, I work in, she hits me in the head. Now we can work our five under the pumio. So again, break in, she hits me on top of the head. You can do a couple reps just to get comfortable. I go under the puño, I hit, strike, hit. Or you can even do grabbing the puño. So I can be here, I can miss it. I can just grab it. Instead of me hitting this, I accidentally grab this. Pull it across. So, like I said, you should train each technique as many times as you can. And then put it, find a small drill, easy drill. You, even just one, 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 find it out of motion. And then you can start leading to more and more sparring with this arm. Okay? Thank you. So in closing, you can kind of see similarities between both because both are from Filipino martial arts. You can see that the Kiri Kali is very systemized in angles, where Foam Widow is a little bit more spread out, not as many options. And then you see a couple crossovers. So. What I like is I like, personally, I like the uh, key to Shikali. I like focusing on one angle and finding everything off it. But in Fong With Go, you have one option or two options off each angle, which really makes it easier to apply because you're not thinking of which one to do. So for example, like uh, if you like angle one in those sectors, you should try sparring with it and then whatever one you like, so sector two, for example, you could specialize in this arms off of angle two. So you could train the rest to know them, but for your personal self-defense system, you can focus on one or two options for each angle of the key tertio, which I really like. So when I spar a lot in Kali, I do a lot of the snakes and the tie-ups and the clinch, because I like a lot of the Muay Thai-based um, martial arts. So, I like clinch-based disarms, like number four from Hong Widow, or snakes one and seven from Hong Widow. So I want you to experiment, watch the video over and over again, see which ones you like, pick one, pick two, and really rep them up as high as you can and see if you can get them as far. Okay, thank you very much.